go ahead and tell us about yourself. Oh yes, uh, my name is Christopher. Uh, I'm a YouTuber. That means that I tube the cubes. <laughs> Oh, I'm funny. I do YouTube videos on tutorials on using, uh, you know, programming, using computers and stuff like that. Would you consider yourself a professional? Oh yeah, yeah, I'm a professional programmer. Have you worked on any software projects when they know No, I've never worked on any big projects. Well, who was Linus Corvello when he created Linux? Nobody. Would you say he was an amateur? Out of all the open licenses, yeah, the GPL is my favorite. Um, I just feel like it gives and preserves the freedom of the user the most. Can you tell us about people who violate the GPL? Yes, uh, violators of the GPL. That does happen, and it's sad when it does happen because, you know, the programmers are out there, you know, giving it their all. They're, they're, they're spending years growing neck beards and sitting in their parents' basement just typing away at the code. You know, they're, they're giving blood to their code. I mean, literally, I've seen guys hurt their fingers while typing and they were bleeding. And it's just, it's, it's saddening when someone violates the GPL. Because these coders, you know, they work for recognition and they, they choose to, to, to release this code in a way that benefits everybody. And then people go and just violate violate the GPL and I'm sorry I'm sorry just give me a minute give me a minute yeah so sometimes sometimes it's hard to catch people violating the, the, the GPL but other times there are these people who do it and they just flaunt it out there in your face like this Brian Lunduke guy uh, I, his YouTube videos he's just out there and he's taking this code that's under the GPL and he's using it and at no point does he contribute the code to the GPL. Does he? There's a requirement in the GPL. It clearly states that when your code is under the GPL and it's distributed, it should be distributed with the code, with with the with the license, with the GPL license. And this Brian Lunduke guy is selling T-shirts that have part of the kernel code in it, which is under the GPL. And nowhere on the shirts does he at all reference anything about the GPL. He has the entire back of the shirt. He could put the GPL on the back of the shirt. It's only a couple of pages long. He could have taken that code, the, the license, and printed it on the back of the shirt. But he just is out there selling these shirts to people who are now walking around with, with GPL license code out there for everybody to see, but nowhere does it reference the GPL. This is a clear violation of the GPL. And yes, I do think action should be taken. And I don't know why. Uh, the kernel developers aren't taking action against this Brian Lunduke guy. It's just a clear violation that could easily be remedied. It's not hard to to abide by the GPL code. There's just a few things you need to do, and and making it clear that the code is under the GPL and providing that license are some of those requirements. And he's just refusing to do that. And people are out there paying and buying these shirts. And they don't even know any better. They don't realize that what they're buying is breaking the law. It's, it's violating the GPL. And I just think it's horrible. I think it's disgusting. Who is your favorite programmer or hacker of all time? Oh, my favorite hacker of all time? Oh, definitely Linus. Linus Torvald? No, no, not, not Torvalds. Uh, Lieberman. Linus, Linus Lieberman, for sure. Obviously, this video was meant as a joke. Uh, there's, uh, there are very few uh, YouTubers that I watch uh, that are Linux uh, users that do videos on Linux. Uh, you know, Arthur Reader is a great one with the two videos he puts out a year. Um, but a lot of the the videos about Linux, I just I don't enjoy them just talking about Linux and uh, and a lot of them just you know for me. I use Linux for everything. I use it for my video editing, and I don't just do these videos, I do wedding videos and other types of videos and stuff like that. And I find that a lot of the people on YouTube don't use Linux software for everything. They'll have Macs and other Windows machines, and I just don't respect that. So it's very rare that I watch YouTubers uh, that are Linux users. There are a few out there, but one that you've, a lot of you probably watch him is Brian Lunduke. He's very popular, he's been around for a while, he's done the Linux Sucks uh, presentations. And uh, I've seen him before, but I've never really watched his videos because I just don't go looking for Linux YouTubers that much. But, you know, 
uh, about two months ago I started watching his videos and I just been been binge watching them and he's really great and so I just wanted to do kind of this joke video and uh, let you guys know to go watch him uh, you know he doesn't really do tutorials like I do but he talks about Linux and tech stuff and computer stuff but in an interesting way I, I don't know I just enjoy his videos so I thought I would say go over and watch his videos uh, I agree with you know 90% of what he says I completely disagree with his feelings on JavaScript but hey you can't agree with people you know hundred percent of the time but just because I've been enjoying his videos so much I wanted to take a video take a moment and let you guys know that if you're gonna watch uh, you know uh, some Linux users on YouTube Brian Lunduk is definitely a guy you should go check out. And for me to come out and say that, like I said, uh, Arthur Reader does good videos, um, but he only puts out one or two a year. Uh, and there's one or two others, maybe I should go through my list, but it's like, the guys that I like, like Arthur Reader, they do very few videos, so it's hard for me to go, hey, go watch these guys. Um, but Brian Lunduk's doing five a week when he's not sick uh, right now, and I look forward to them all the time. And, and they're also longer videos. Lots of times when I'm on YouTube and I see videos and they're more than uh, 10 or 15 minutes, I'm like, oh, I don't really have time to watch this. His videos are like a half an hour to an hour, sometimes more, and I look forward to watching them at double speed, so I'm really only watching them for a half an hour. But do go check him out. Also, uh, the code that I had on the screen when I was typing was actually uh, the PS code uh, from the BusyBox project. I just want to uh, mention that because it is GPL code and I don't want to violate the GPL by having that in my video and not referencing the GPL at least. <laughs> so anyway, again, this, this video was meant as a joke. I hope that you found it humorous and not too stupid. And, uh, and yes, yes, Linus Lieberman is my favorite hacker of all time. In fact, he's one of the main, one of the main reasons I got into programming. So uh, I do thank you for watching. And as always, I hope that you visit my website, filmsidechris.com. That's Chris with a K. Uh, there's a link in the description. My Patreon page there is as well if you enjoy my videos. Uh, definitely going to be coming up with more tutorials, shell tutorials coming up soon. Thank you for watching. I hope that you have a great day. Would I consider myself an elite hacker? Yes, I would.